All right, so here we're going to be looking at the power property of exponents. Just a quick reminder, uh, b to the x power means x factors of b, or the x is telling you how many of the b's you're having multiplied together. When we look at power to a power, here we have 7 to the second power to the third power. So again, the 3 here is telling you how many 7 squareds you have being multiplied. So you have 3 7 squareds being multiplied. So that's 1 7 squared times a second 7 squared times a third 7 squared all being multiplied. And again, we can further expand this out. This is two sevens being multiplied. That's seven times seven times another two sevens being multiplied times another two sevens being multiplied. So here we have a grand total of one, two, three, four, five, six sevens being multiplied together. Seven to the sixth power. Um, if you're going to type this in, 7 and then the caret button, 6, and that's going to be shift 6 for uh, that character right there on a keyboard if you're typing it in. Here we have 6 to the 5th to the 4th power. So again, we're going to have 4 6 to the 5ths being multiplied together. So there's 1 6 to the 5th times another 6 to the 5th times a third 6 to the 5th times a fourth 6 to the 5th. We have four 6 to the 5ths all being multiplied together. So that's going to be 6 to the sum power because our base is a 6. So when we look at what this power is going to be in our brains, here we have five sixes and another five sixes. So now we're at 10 sixes, 15 sixes, and now 20 sixes being multiplied. So 6 to the 20th power. So again, when we're thinking here, we're looking and we have four groups of six to the fifth or five sixes. So when we do a power to a power, we are going to be multiplying the exponents. So for our property there in words, to find the power of a power, you multiply the exponents. For numbers, we already did this example here, seven squared to the third power, that's going to be seven to the two times three power, which is seven to the sixth power. And for algebra, just using symbols, b to the m to the n, that's going to be b to the mn power, or m times n power. For power to a product, here we have a product, 5 times x, and it's to the third power. So we're going to have three 5x's all being multiplied. So there's a 5x times a second 5x times a third 5x. Using the commutative property and associative property, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 5's being multiplied times, we're going to have 1, 2, 3, x's being multiplied. So here's 3, 5's being multiplied, 5, 3, Five's being multiplied, and how many x is being multiplied? That's going to be three x's being multiplied together. So five to the third power, x to the third power. You could also write it as 125 x cubed if you wanted to. That is equivalent as well. So when we have a power to a product, when a power is raised to a power, when a product is raised to a power, then each factor is raised to that power. So in numbers, that's going to be 3 times 4 to the 5th power. Both the 3 and the 4 are going to be raised to the 5th power. So 3 to the 5th and 4 times 4 to the 5th power. Um, you can kind of think of it something like distributive property, but it's not. It's it's kind of because it, it's exponent, so it's power of a product property. Uh, for algebra, a, b to the x power. Same thing as with the numbers. Both the a and the b are both going to be raised to the x power. Another example, here we have 6x squared to the fifth power. So using our power of a product property, that's going to be a 6, 5, 6s being multiplied because a 5 goes to the 6. And for the x squared, we're going to have 5x squared being multiplied as well. So 6 to the fifth power is just going to stay 6 to the fifth power. You can go ahead and write it in standard notation where you actually write, you know, what its value is, but this is fine for here. And then we have a power to a power here, x squared to the fifth power. So we are going to multiply those exponents and that's going to be x to the tenth power. So for our power of a power, b to the m to the n, we're going to multiply the exponents. And when we have a power of a product, then the exponent goes to both of the factors in the base. Hope this helps. Hope you have a nice day, evening, whatever time you might be watching this.